I'll be opening Japan Crate for, um, what month is it? I guess this is July's crate? Because it got here the last day of July, so... I assume so. No, um, normally... <laughs> normally, um... I try to, like, eat at least a bite of all the snacks in the crates I open, the food crate. Because I've noticed from watching videos, people seem to like that more than just showing what's in the crate. But I'm not hungry. <laughs> um, but I'm so excited to open this. Before I just, I gotta, I gotta. So. Let's get started, huh? Mm -hmm. Actually, a few things fell out here. They really pack it to the brim, and I, I love that. You get your money's worth, most definitely. Alright, so we have this little thing. Oh, this is August crate. Okay, so, this is August. Uh, cute, cute card thingy. Uh, it shows two months ago, or a month ago, it's crate. Like, pictures from the Fruits Basket one. I have that. I haven't made a video for it yet, but it's great. And then it tells you all the stuff that's in the box. So, let's get to it. Oh, I already took a peek. And I'm so excited. I, I wish I was hungry. But I really want to take a bite out of this whole box of coconut chocolate pocky. Uh, if there's one thing I absolutely love, it's coconut. Oh, mm, mm. I, first I thought it was the almond pocky, and I was so excited, and I'm even more excited now because it's coconut! Thank you, Japan Crate. You're awesome. Um, do they have anything to say about it? Mm. Coconut pocky. Pocky, one of Japan's most famous snacks and a summer limited flavor of coconut. Limited. Oh, I gotta buy a bunch. These snack sticks are dipped in chocolate, coconut flakes, and Okinawa salt for the perfect sweet and crispy summer combo. Oh, the song comes on at the most perfect time because that sounds heavenly. Oh, and there's also a cute little section down in here. Real cool is travel. And... Nihon ni ikikai desu. I want to go to Japan. Uh, Nihon no tabemono o takusan tabemasu yo. I will eat a lot of Japanese food. Let me turn. Why? What? That's better. Okay, I fixed the music. Okay. Now this, this really catches your eye at the top of the box. It is, I, it's spelled like Mike. Oh, oh, and the Pocky was part of the premium part, so I got the premium box. So, this is part of the original box. It is Mike or Mickey Pino Strawberry Moon. This limited edition strawberry moon caramel corn is a flavor out of this world. Pinot ice cream collaborated with Frito Lay to create the strawberry and raspberry treat. A special blend of sweet and sour. <gasps> Doesn't that sound amazing, you guys? That sounds amazing. Alright, what's next? Oh, um, a Corobo stick. I remember these from past crates. They're alright. They mostly just kind of taste like brown sugar bread sticks, which is basically what they are. I never cared for brown sugar. So, ah. Uh.
I accidentally paused it by dropping this thing. Anyway, it says Japan loves canned coffee, just like a Tokyoite. Crack open this can in the morning to sip on a smooth coffee blend. These limited edition cans feature a collectible Gundam design like the giant model you might find in Oda Odaiba. Ah, oh, it's Gundam! <laughs> That's so cool! I should save the can! Maybe. I want to taste it. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll drink it and then sell the can for like 50 cents to somebody. Because someone's, some collector's gonna want this, right? Right? <laughs> Definitely. Someone out there. Alright, what else did we got, fellas? Ooh, we got an ice cream cone. Looks like most of this candy expires in 2020, by the way. So, let's see, uh, Chicoto Soft, ice cream, marshmallow, or chocolate? No need to choose, just one. This cute ice cream cone is full of fluffy, sweet marshmallow and chocolate cream. <sighs> Makes you just want to take a bite out of it right now. Look at that. It's an actual cone with chocolate on the inside. And then instead of ice cream, it's marshmallow with sprinkles. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has sprinkles. And it's like glittery marshmallow to make it look like ice crystals. Mmm. And that was part of the mini box. Okay. There's a milk carton in here. What are they talking about? They must be talking about this. The picture's different from what actually appears. But, uh, coffee sour. I don't know if it's the same thing that's pictured on here. It's, it says milk sour on here. But anyway, it says DX or Deluxe. It's part of the mini package, by the way. Sour pack. Classic Japanese drink cartons shrunk into mini form. Don't try to drink it though, they're full of yummy mints. That's so freaking cute. Let's open it up. Oh, you can keep a carton. Oh! Oh, that's, that's awesome! Look at all that. That's just so cool. Okay. I like that. Um, I guess mine's coffee flavor, not milk flavor. It's a little coffee carton. That's super cute. Alright. Alright, alright. Oh, let's see what's next. Alright, what's next? What's next? Oh, here's that again. Part of the original package, Horiki Brown Sugar. It's hard to stop from munching on these pretzel-like snack sticks. They're flavored with sweet brown sugar. I'll probably share that with a friend, because like I said earlier, I'm not the biggest fan of brown sugar, but it sounds like it has a really good texture, so I want to try it out. I love pretzel stick kind of things. Oh, and chips, obviously. Um, gummies. Mmm. There it is. I think. Ours. Gummies. Ta-da! Let's see. It says sour. Sour is dual pineapple. Okinawa is the tropical paradise island of Japan, which means amazing fruit. These juicy and sour pineapple gummies, ooh, pineapple, are sparkling with crystals for a fun and crispy texture. That pineapple flavor itself and the fact they're gummies makes me really want to try it with one friend in particular who used to really love pineapple. But like fresh pineapple, so we'll see. This looks like jerky, like teriyaki. Here, you guys can like stare at that while I try to figure out where it is on the list. What in the world? Oh, 
There it is. Under the original package, Okonomiyaki Taro. Osaka is known for its okonomiyaki, a savory pancake mixed with meat, vegetables, eggs, and sauce. Bite into this okonomiyaki snack while on the go. It's mixed with squid, fish, and savory delight. I think I love Japan Crate. <laughs> this makes me so happy. Oh, I'm eating this right away. Not right now, but tonight. <laughs> um, oh, that's amazing. I love them. Now... Oh, I'm gonna eat this too. Look at that! Like grilled corn crackers. And it looks like it might be a spice or anything. It's from the premium box grilled corn crackers. Snack on these crackers to give your mouth a trip to Hokkaido. Hokkaido. Japan is known for its flavorful sweet corn, and each of these crispy crackers are packed with sweet corn and soy sauce. I'm in love. <laughs> Not much more to go now, though, fellas. Okay. Bye bye. Chichu. Chichu. In Japanese, it means kiss. Put this gummy on your lips for perfect red, pouty lips. It also doubles as a juicy, great flavored gummy. <laughs> I think that's perfect. And we have. Oh, and by the way, that's part of the mini crate. And then we have this part of the premium crate Ichigo yogurt cracker. That's strawberry. Kochiki, Japan, is known for delicious and sweet strawberries. They produce the most strawberries in all of Japan and sometimes referred to as the strawberry kingdom. Really? Uh, munch on these strawberry and yogurt crackers for a balanced, sweet, and sour taste. Dude, bet. I'd love to, and I will, really soon. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. And then, I think we've gone through everything, except, um, they gave me six bonus treats, actually. So, the first three, uh, it's really just two, but three of each. Whoop. So the first three are these guys, Kit Kats, I know I love Kit Kats. Kit Kat, everyday luxury, these fancy Kit Kats are inspired by the Kit Kat chocolatory, only in Japan. Okay, these special bars are topped with cranberries and almonds as a luxury chocolate to enjoy on your break. Guys, do you know what this means? Japan is amazing. <laughs> like, really amazing. Backwards, but it says, you have a break, have a Kit Kat, inspired by Kit Kat chocolate toy. Whatever. Oh, wait, both the bonuses are Kit Kats. Man, Kit Kats are amazing. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Mm hmm, I will. Ooh, that's. <laughs> uh, Kit Kat Setsuichi Lemon! Okay. Hiroshima is known as Japan's top producer of lemons. These special Setsuichi Lemon Kit Kats are a blend of chocolate, mild zest, and ultra refreshing Setsuichi Lemon. They're accented with salt from the Seto Inland Sea for a tasty summer twist. Ah, <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that's everything for the crate. I've dumped just about everything out. <laughs> yep. Um, hey, so what's happening in Japan right now? Aomori Nebuta Festival, early August. Aomori Nebuta Matsuri is a Japanese summer festival that takes place at night. Large lantern floats inspired by Japanese gods, mythology and history are illuminated and paraded through the town. They are usually made from washi paper and brightly painted. The colorful festival attracts many people every year. Well, I think we all know uh, some stuff like that from things like anime, Mulan, live actions, and history. <laughs> um, 
Edogawa Hanabi. August's Hanabi in Japanese translates to fireworks. Woo! <laughs> summer firework festivals are a symbol of summer in Japan and often take place in July and August. The Edogawa Festival is a grand display of fireworks in Tokyo along the Edogawa River. People go to relax, eat street food, dress in yukata, and watch the sparking show. Man, I'd love to go to Japan in the summer. It sounds so fun with all their festivals, but they do have festivals all year round, and they're all amazing. Man, I just gotta go to Japan one of these days. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. So, I hope that this made you want to buy something from Japan Crate, because they're just amazing. I love them so much for giving in anyone who wants to buy their product this opportunity to taste a bit of Japan. It's truly amazing, but not as amazing as being there yourself. I know it, even though I've never been, but thank you, Japan Crate. You're so awesome. Bye-bye! <laughs>